Good evening, everybody. It is the Ben Herrera Show. It is Friday night. Time for the Her Ben Herrera Show. I'm here by myself right now. I'm eating cake. <laughs> I, uh, I'm eating the rest of my cake from yesterday, or from Thursday. I don't know was yesterday. Very good. Um, so tonight, <clears throat> I'm going to talk about paranormal. And what foods do you think taste better the day after? And I'm drinking coffee. Mm. Um, the reason why I wanted to talk about paranormal is <clears throat> paranormal, but more of a what's that word? I can't think of the word. Controver not controversial, uh, conspiracy theory. It is because don't knock the wall down, babe. <laughs> you can put that camera over there. Be careful, dang. It's not a toy. <laughs> All right. Oh, fix that mic. It's way over there. Let me make sure the camera's on you. There's Tracy. She oh Ellie or er, <laughs> Alexa, turn on LED lights. All right, we got the LED lights on. Those look cool. Uh, so tonight we're going to be talking about paranormal, and the reason why I want to talk about that, yeah, what? Because what I saw in the sky the other night. Am was that Wednesday? Was it? Ago. Yeah, I think it, it was said it, it was in front of the moon. Mm -hmm. Because I know I did because I did a live. I was doing a Facebook live that night. Then you saw it. No, it was before I did it. That's why I did before? it. So I was doing a Facebook live, and well, I was planning on it, and uh, as I was getting you know getting the cam the telescope ready, I noticed that. Obviously, the moon's moving, so I'm trying to, you know, get Either the moon's focus moving or on the Earth is moving. Whatever, <laughs> one of those. <laughs> but uh, both moving. Huh? Yeah, somebody's moving. <laughs> but what up, Machelu? Thanks for joining the show tonight. Uh, so I'm looking. Oh, hold on. I'm eating my cake. Um. Let me get this uh, another Facebook thing. All right, hold on. I can't have this on. Anyway, so what happened was, is I was actually looking at, um, I was looking at the moon, and, uh, and so what happened and, was, uh, hold on, because this thing always, for some reason, wants to turn the volume on. Anyway, so I'm I'm looking. And as I'm adjusting the telescope to, you know, because I had to move it, you obviously had to follow the moon as you're going, as you're viewing it. And uh, so I'm sitting there and as I'm trying to move the move it back up and down uh -huh. to get back focused straight onto the moon, I noticed something. I saw something and I'm not, it, it, it's one of those things where you're like, what the hell did I just see? Yeah, but you saw it, and it was real to you. It was one. It it was nothing close to our planet, and uh, it, it it to me it's like, why did my video just freeze? Oh, whoops! I turned the wrong one. Whoopsies! What's going on here? Hello, everybody. Hello. So, um, what happened was is this one always. I don't, I don't get Facebook sometimes, <laughs> but, um, so I'm, I'm looking at it and as I'm looking at the moon, I, I'm, you know, I'm, I saw what I saw. It wasn't explain close to earth. What explain what you it was, it looked like a boomerang shape, like going down though. Like it was a V shape going down. And I saw it go past, like it went quick. 
So it didn't, I didn't even have time to even catch it on video, unfortunately. Uh, but that's, that's what I don't get is like how people see things. See, and that's like one of those things of you got to be at the right place at the right time, mm -hmm. you know, because. Yeah, it's just like my mom years ago, downtown Kalamazoo, in the daytime, saw a UFO above the building downtown Kalamazoo. And she, she was driving, I think, and my dad was in the passenger seat. Mm -hmm. And she tried to get his attention. But um, I don't know if my dad saw it, but my mom saw it. So. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm fascinated with space. Mm -hmm. I always want to go out and look at the moon. And uh, like our friend Brandon that was here earlier also says, you know, he likes looking at stuff like that, and it's it's fascinating, you know, because you know you learn things. Like what's out there, and oh, that is out there, kind of thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. like, now, what, remember that other that no, you weren't even out there when that happened. Well, last or last year or the year before. Those. Not the line one, but the line. that bright one that kept getting bigger as it was moving. Um, I posted that one on Facebook a while back. And uh, so that one, everybody's like, oh, that was Starlink. That was, you know, Starlink thing. No, it wasn't. That was weird. Starlink, I've seen that already. I know what that looks like. This, the one that we saw, was by itself. And it looked like whatever the hell it was, was entering the Earth's atmosphere. Because that's what that why it was so bright oh, and it was like, like a star, falling star mm -mm. no not even this like was that. no falling star this didn't have a trail okay. i mean it had a trail but it didn't have um like the long trail that you usually see okay. it had like a bright white uh ring behind it as i was as it was moving and it was just weird. But the one I saw the other night was definitely a freaking UFO. I don't care what anybody says. Mm -hmm. um, it was weird. I've seen stuff in the sky over the years. Can you go tell them to quit making that noise? Um, it's like, it's crazy on what's out there, for one, but to actually see what's out there is a whole different experience because a lot of people claim to see things, but don't have proof, but I have proof of the one that we saw the other night, or not the other night, but last summer. Um, it was last summer, right? It was before we went to South Carolina. Before, okay. Mm -hmm. Um, because I remember that it was uh, around that time before we, like a month before we left. Dang. Then this year, our California trip, we um, escaped in earthquake got caught in a hurricane it was like part of the hurricane but not all of it well we were stuck in it we were we were in the the rainy the rainy it wasn't really that hurricane. windy but uh it it to to physically see with these two wonderful beautiful eyes of mine i'm just kidding <laughs> Uh, what I saw, honey brown. Hmm? brown, right? Um, on I want to think. Kale cuts. Kale cuts for my new haircut. Uh, Madi. Madi, thank you for the haircut. Thank you, Madi, for uh, my husband's hair. He did it a looks good. Job. Look at it. Looks beautiful. Uh, thanks for the haircut. I appreciate it. It was great. Great work. Um. Okay, okay. And I bet your family appreciates you too. Open up your family members. Oh, I'm sure. Um, so 
I just wanted to throw that out there because I know a lot of people, there's people out there that don't believe in stuff like that, but there's people that are like straight up out there every night, people. My dad believes in UFOs because he's seen them too. Your dad saw ghosts. He saw ghosts and UFOs. Right. <clears throat> but I think um, there is definitely stuff out there. There's 100%. Has to be. Because who else is... It's it's like we said before. There's no way on in this entire universe, galaxies, whatever is out there, that we're by ourselves. No, we're not by ourselves. Uh -uh. Can't be. I, I mean, there, there's too too much proof, you know, too much. Um, video footage and stuff like that of stuff that people catch and mm -hmm. i think that you know um eventually we're gonna get a in a situation where everybody's gonna see something at the same time yes and it's gonna be one of those worldwide events when it comes to stuff like that <clears throat> those who believe in god Jesus return, everyone will see. Oh, yeah, of course. Everybody's going to know that. I mean, it's, it's, it, there's no, there's not going to be anybody hiding from that one. Um, but it's like, I, I think the, when it comes to paranormal, the uh, UFO stuff, ghosts, um, it's real. It has to be. I mean, it, paranormal means things like that are unexplained things you don't know what the hell it is because this earth obviously was created but there's stuff that i feel and my and this is my own opinion that once that earth was created it started like a um an electrical like connection to, to different dimensions because there's so many books in the bible maybe those are dimensions maybe those are people that seem different dimensions different things or different time frames yeah whatever i mean different you know time know. frames because supposedly they made it to 500 years old or 900 years old exactly um but we never we know. Definitely, that. we're on that Earth a lot longer than we've been on Earth. And mm, well, yeah, our 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 lives, yeah. Yeah, like um, uh, before the flood, there's proof <clears> of the <throat> flood, mm -hmm. flood of the Earth. But um, so and they call it BC before Christ. That's how they put it, right? BC. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. The dinosaurs, that there's dinosaurs before humans. I thought you said something about poop. No, um, it's just like I thought that's had, what you were saying. We was had some... dinosaurs before, and then it might have had cavemen, maybe. There might have been people in the cave. Um, maybe I mean, I, well, yeah, there's proof that those were around, or that they were around. Um, and proof yeah. about dinosaurs being around, too. Oh, yeah, there is. Of course there is. I mean, because there's dinosaurs and then there might have been some cake. But it's like, like you have to also think about too is like, what if, but it's just strange on how there isn't more being found now, even still. Like, there's got to be in, like, even here in Holland, but you know, how has nobody not found any dinosaur bones? I don't know, but they have in other states, though, in other countries, though. Right, but that's what I'm saying. So dinosaurs didn't live in this area? Maybe they died somewhere else? and or Maybe they were here at one point, but then ended up dying somewhere else, obviously. Okay. Because I, they're on a certain continent. I, I think there might have been one found in Grand Rapids. I think. I think they call that the... I don't know. I can't. There's because definitely been found in america oh yeah oh yeah Pl plenty of dinosaurs here but 
it's it's like do you believe that dinosaurs can be like like the Jurassic Park type thing? See, the the movies want us to believe that. I don't know. I, I look at them as like peaceful creatures roaming the earth, eating trees and bushes. You know what I mean? Like and drinking the water. I mean, there were eating like meat eater ones. Oh, there was, yeah. Tyrannosaurus Rex. Right, right, right. So that's, you know, you it's. And they killed each other. I mean, they, yeah, of course. Yeah. They, well, obviously they, you had the carnivores and the, the, um. What is, no, what's the other one? I can't think of the name of it. But, I mean, it's, it's definitely. They're much like vegetarians. They only right. eat plants. Exactly. I wonder if, uh. Can't add text. But I think a, a, a lot of like dinosaurs that, you know, depending on how long they lasted. I mean, there's still some alive now because you got crocodiles and oh, stuff like that. Yeah, crocodile, alligators. Like the, the descendants of dinosaurs, I think. Alligators and turtles. Both of them descendants from dinosaurs. Yeah, because there was huge ass turtles throughout the world at one point. Floating, I mean, swimming. Mm -hmm. I believe there's a lot of those out and there. And whales. Whales have been around for all of you. Yes. This day. What time? I, oh, 39 to 16. I, I believe. I believe. Ah, whales wonderful. and dolphins have been around for a long time. Yeah. Okay. So, it definitely... Um, Who's walking down the stairs? Mm -hmm. There's a ghost. Mm -hmm. I thought I heard somebody walking down the stairs. Uh, well, there we go. There we're talking about paranormal, and there's a ghost. No, walking down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, let's not make a mess. No, great. Who's throwing stuff now? <laughs> but uh, I, I don't know. I just, I think ghosts, paranormal activities, or activities <laughs> paranormal sure. topics um are very what's the word a controversial i guess you can say because you know you're gonna you're gonna get that person person place or thing that i mean they believe in it but then they don't just like when it comes to food there's people who believe in eating meat or eating vegetables, or both. True. So, like, there's some people I have. We had a friend who only believed in the vegetarian lifestyle. Yeah, exactly. So it's like I think uh, most uh, people that do that are weird. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but they're probably really healthy. <laughs> no, they're not. See, and that's the, you know, you protein. still have that, huh? have right, but I'm saying like, it's, it's like, I don't know, I think I feel that protein is a joke, you know, protein is a joke, no, I'm just kidding, I think it's, um, I don't really eat too, I don't even know what, to, honestly, here's the thing. I eat whatever I feel like it, feel like, because I don't follow stuff like yeah, that. I don't our body really... lets us know what you want to eat. Right, your we, cravings. We get cravings, and that's why our body yeah. is craving. Exactly. So I I believe that most people that do like carb diets and stuff like that, I I don't I don't follow that. I don't. To me, it's like, why do I want to keep track of that? You know what I mean? Like, why? Why? What's the point of that? Because you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna make yourself like crave on certain things, but then you, like, if you break that, and then you get back in it, it, it can mess your health up, it can mess the way you eat up. Because a lot of why are you rubbing your stomach when I say that? <laughs> But I don't know. 
I just, I just think that, you know, people just live how you live. You know, live how you want to live. Who cares? Have fun with life. Um, and that's why I, I, how I am even like with that work. You know, I, I go to work to have fun. I go to work to enjoy the day and not be stressed out about mm-hmm. things when I do go to work. Um, like right now, we're in the middle of filming a short film that I wrote uh, called One Shot. And uh, it's a good short film. <clears throat> it's only going to be five minutes long. Um, but it's, it's based on true events. Um, so I just feel that, Mm. that a lot of people that are in a career, and it just, this doesn't just go with singing or artists, rap artists. It goes with any type of career, you know, because you have that career and you want it, you want it bad enough. What's um, Malik's friend? That other guy? What's his name? Malik's friend. The other guy that was here. What's his name again? Brandon. Yeah, I found out not to change the subject. But Malik I, and them just met. They weren't. They don't even know each other. Right. I just found out today because I asked Brandon. I'm like, okay, we'll talk about that afterwards. Oh, I know. Yeah, he already told me about it. He told me <clears> that he made it. I know. I already know that. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's not something to talk about. Oh, he made a scooter. <laughs> I know that's cool. I like it. I want one of those. He did a pretty cool job on that because the the, the um. Hold on a second. This thing is just acting stupid on the screen. It's trying to catch up to me, but it then it's not. So he drives that around. Yeah. Um, I think um. Now you made me forget what I was talking about. <laughs> no, we weren't. We already were. We were off that a long time ago. Mm. Oh, I was talking about the film. Um. So anyway, yeah, I I wrote the film because a little bit about like how I think about you know my career. Uh, going into filmmaking um, because I haven't done shit that is worthy of praise and whatnot. Chili. Chili. Oh, yeah. Chili always tastes good the next day. That's a good one, Jacob. That's a good one. Perfect. You won won on that one. (laughs) Mm. Pizza always tastes good on the next day, too. Back when we drank Pepsi, Pepsi and pizza all of a sudden together. Mm-hmm. Yes. Don't get me started. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yes, chili is a good one. That is frick. Oh, man, I can't wait to have chili you know again. What, what is good in chili is uh, sour, sour cream. Here, that's disgusting. Mm-hmm. It makes it creamy. Uh, yeah, so does, so does breast milk. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Tracy, Tracy's face when I said that. Do that again. <laughs> she was like, "Really, breast milk?" But um, I believe that. Yeah, chili. Excuse me, chili is a good one. I like that. That's a good answer. That sounds good. Good answer. Good answer. Let's see if it's on the board. Chili on the chili for. Um, wait, how does that go? Remember Family Feud? Remember, because they were like, good answer, good answer. And let's go with chili. Ding! It was number one. (laughs) Oh, that was good. I love that show. Chili sounds good for dinner soon. Oh, yeah, we're going to do it. You know what? That is true. Let's do that. We don't have to just have a chili in the fall. (laughs) You know what? Let's just have Thanksgiving in the summer now. Say sour cream and chili. Yes, I said sour cream and chili. It makes it nice That's and creamy. That's disgusting. Uh, I just forgot. And putting lime juice on your pizza. Have you heard of that? All right. Where are you getting all this from? <laughs> <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. Okay. Lemon juice or lime juice on pizza. But yeah. 
Yeah, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> you're fired. You're fired. <laughs> Sorry, it's just something different, but <laughs> Oh man. There was a if anybody watches Friends, um there was an episode when Phoebe uh, fired uh, Monica for the wedding oh. thing. <laughs> yeah. You're fired. No, she went like that. You're fired. Yeah, that was funny. Uh, yeah, that was a... I, I hate sour cream. I, How about I, hot sauce ugh. and spaghetti? Sour cream is gross. Huh? How about hot sauce what and spaghetti? What is it? What is What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you getting these from? It's just... A, uh. I'm thinking of it. I, oh, I'm like, man, when did you try that? I don't want to even. You know what does taste good, though? Here's something that I don't know if anybody else has done this. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure there was, but there is. But hot sauce in your ramen noodles. Oh, see, that's what I'm hot sauce. Hot sauce in the ramen noodles. <laughs> now, I also took pep, salt and pepper in a little bit. Okay. Throw some hot sauce in it. Spice it up a bit. That's pretty That's good. good. And it's better when you're drinking the, the juice afterwards um, and your ramen noodles. Mmm, delicious. Um, I was drooling right there. <laughs> but, uh, I oh, I didn't even turn my lights on. Though. It looks like space. Oh, it is. We're in space back there. <laughs> but um, I uh, I I printed a picture out for my boss uh, oh, because you know she's moving to the, a new store. Gabby, we're gonna miss you. Uh, so I printed a picture. I have to go to Muskegon. Oh, we'll visit. We'll visit her. Um, and I'm gonna start selling now because I've already had another person request it. Mary that works with us. I call her Maui. <laughs> Mary, Mary, Maui, or Maria. <laughs> I always call her Maria. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> so I'm gonna print her one out too. Well, I mean, I already got it. I just gotta get a frame for it. Can I see the one she picked? Or... It was the same one. Yeah, okay. This is the one that I'm selling. If anybody wants to buy it, and it's with frame. I took this. The frame. Oh, sorry. Oops. Hold on. Where is it? Okay, this camera's back. Let's, let me just put it right here. Yep. Oh, there. I see. Yeah. With frame, I'm selling it for twenty nine ninety nine. Twenty nine ninety nine. If anybody wants to copy, yeah, let me know. I'll get you a copy. With frame, uh, twenty nine ninety nine. Um, I took that on the way back from, I think we were in Colorado on the way yeah. back from Cali. Uh, there's another one that I'm going to be selling, uh, with frame for $29.99. Um, it's the, I, I don't even know where we were. I think we were in Arizona. Yeah. I think we, yeah, I think we were, but it's, it's an awesome picture. It's that when we stopped at that one location I got out and took that picture. Yeah. And then we found that like looked like a car accident was out there. Because it was like a bunch of car parts. <laughs> a bumper and everything. There was a bunch of stuff out there. Um anyway. Uh so I'm gonna have that one as well. Uh framed. And signed by moi. Um I believe I have I have uh, an eye for photography. I don't know. That's what everybody tells me. You but, do. That's your gift, your talent. Thank you. I appreciate it. One of them. Yeah, multiple. But um, I, I, I want to start selling some. So that's one. That's for sale. The other one is actually. I have to find it. I'm gonna print that one out tonight. But um, I, I, uh, I just feel. Oh, like, take a I'm going to do that after the podcast. <laughs> I'm going back out there. I'll, I'll definitely, ever since that thing, or ever since that night, I've been keeping an eye on it, because I've been like, I'm going to see that damn thing again. You know, somebody, a uh, friend of mine, or Brandon, uh, or was it, it was either Brandon or Wavy Mac. 
found a picture that looked like a boomerang spaceship looking thing. But then he shared me, shared to me, shared uh, a video, I mean an article about India being on the moon. I didn't even know that. What being on the moon? India. India. That they made it to the moon. And I was like, I didn't even know they were trying. <laughs> Oh, they had a purse people that made it I, to the moon too. I guess I don't know. Wow. But um, I wouldn't put it past them. That's probably that. Yes. Yeah, because when we were filming today again, sorry, Jacob, I forgot to let you know. Mom's again. <laughs> but uh, we were filming again today, not in the same spot, but um, it made me realize, you know, I want to make movies. I'm just no, but it made me realize that you know it's. It's it's something that it, it has to be done here in Holland. Movies, photos. Because we got a lot of good spots here in Holland. And Jacob reminded me that we can film. But we have to let him know first. <laughs> he, says, um, he says, unless I made some moves in my opinion. Movies, babe. Don't you know how to read? <laughs> you know what? You need to go back to readings class. Well, then, oh, I took it off that screen. Yeah, so I'm trying to read it. Oh, this sorry, is... my fault. So it's my fault you don't know how to read? No, it's my fault you don't know how to read? Why is it repeating? There, it's right there. Look that way. Stop looking at my screen. I made some movies in my past. That's cool, Jacob. What movies did you make? What kind of movies, actually? <clears throat> I really... You know, the one that I'm writing now, or that I, that I wrote, um, like I said, it's it's basically, I know a lot of people are going to think it's 8 Mile, but it's not. Um, oh, about films. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. But uh, a lot of people are going to, oh, that reminds me of 8 Mile. Whoops. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of zombie movies. Who cares? Uh, but I wrote it only because. And a lot of um, vampire movies, too. It's not 8 Mile. It has nothing to do with 8 Mile. It has nothing to do with life. The concept maybe does, but not the actual storyline. Um, but it, it's going to be cool once it's done. It's only going to be five minutes, so it's not like a full-length feature film. Not yet, though. Um, but we'll make it. Um, remember, remember that movie he, we had watched called Tug? Oh, yeah. That was filmed here in Holland. That actually had some pretty good, well, B, B, what's it called? B-rated adult. Okay. Oh. I mean, oh. adults, actors. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was looking at when he wrote adult films. Uh, I haven't done any of those. Well, we probably have. <laughs> but uh, anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so. I think um, it's going to be uh, fun to film fi to finish this film uh, once it's edited and everything's done. And it's going to look good. Film, short film about bipolar. I had never finished that. Oh, you didn't? No, we never finished it. I was going to, but we never did. Well, let's finish. What you let's do it? Follow through. Let's do it. Let's follow through it. Boo boo it. See, so. I'm hoping he'll change my mind, but I know he wants to keep it the same. See, that, that's interesting. True. True that. Why is that? Oh, okay. Uh, <clears throat> so, definitely, uh, once we get that film done, uh, I'm going to post it on the on that uh, Facebook uh, page that these youngsters are using these days. Yes, Facebook. Um, but, you know, it's fun. It's fun to do. It's fun to make things. It's fun to create, um, write. Uh, scripts stuff like that um just to sh just to show you know others because i know there's a, a girl um out there that's releasing a movie here in holland oh, so cool. that's pretty cool uh i'm gonna be honest with you i forgot what her name was yeah. but um excuse me she had a um uh, article in the newspaper actually um, I think she's getting it shown at some film festivals in the in the Midwest. Uh, okay. I I have to find the article again because I honestly don't remember her name. So let me see if I can find it. Um, let's see here. 
If anybody knows her name and probably knows who I'm talking about, let me see. We got Malik calling the show. What up, Malik? You're good, man. All right, you go all good? Yep. Oh, yeah, they're in the bedroom. They're watching TV. All right. All right, better than bro. Cool. All right, see you then. You're welcome. <laughs> so, yeah, um, if anybody knows who I'm talking about, let me know because I forgot her name. Um, about watching it, but... No, I know that, babe. Oh, he said you should do a film about the Latin community and impact they had on the Dutch. Community. Oh, I it's totally, dude, I'm, I'm not even joking when you said that. Or not, I'm saying this. I seriously thought about that, uh, like, not even two that's, months ago. Awesome. When they started doing those murals back in July, I that was exactly what I was thinking. I want to do a film. I want to get some people in, even if it's a documentary style, uh, about the impact and the changes that the Hispanic community has put on Holland. Um I definitely am going to do that. I already I like thought about it. Story. I already got the storyline down. So if anybody steals it from me or steals this and idea, I'm, I will sue the shit out of you. Big shout out to the Hispanic store on Washington called La Reina. Oh, yeah. They're a good store. Oh, they got some good. They got some good salsa. Rice and salsa. And the beans. And beans. What else was it? Rice and beans. Oh, tamales. Oh, or was it tomorrow? Yeah, it was. They're pretty good. They're a really good grocery store. But Jacob, that is uh, something that I already have an idea down for. Um, I've been wanting to do that for a while. I'm gonna. I've been meaning to put it out there, uh, but I'm still getting the the concept down. Oh, of it. the tamales suck at that store. Do they really? You don't like those? It's I thought they were pretty decent. But have you tried their rice and salsa? <laughs> who has the best ones though yeah who i think honestly i think the the me me favorito is the ones that have the best ones down, that on columbia the one that they had the mural done on oh me favorito yes yeah, i think they have the best ones he said yes we like the rice rice and salsa oh good good, good. The rice and salsa is really good. i i had some Tamales at a place on the and north side. Their guacamole. The guacamole gets old quick. As soon as you open it, it's it's weird. Take a pic of the moon right now and send it to me, please. I'm doing a podcast. I can't do that right now. <laughs> I cannot find my mouse. Um, but yeah, uh, so definitely I'm going to be writing a film, uh, about our local Hispanic community and the, honestly, Jacob, exactly what you said is how I was thinking I was going to write it. Um, if anybody wants to help and have an, an input on it, let me know, uh, because it's definitely something that people need to know about, about Holland. Um, because... Hey, right. Sister, sister, cuz, cousin, si wait, that sounds hey, Kentucky. Hey, sister, <laughs> mama. Did you just say another man? I meant mama. <laughs> <laughs> sister, <another> mama. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, so definitely, um, keep an eye out for that because that's definitely something that needs to be heard. Uh, because us growing up in the Holland community, um, you know, Holland was obviously 
at one point 100 percent dutch <laughs> nothing against that obviously it is they founded the area they founded their city that's fine um so um definitely um a good story to talk about about our the growth in the in the in the the way that it, the Holland community had changed over the years uh, because of the Hispanic community. Um, what does that say? Oh, we're on our way home. Came to Bangor to watch Junior and Nicholas game. Oh, cool. I can't type. Oh, that's right. All right, we're talking about the... the, the so um, we're going to go ahead and log off here. Um, but I want to appreciate everybody that has watched us over the last two or three years. Give um, us support. support um, exactly. Um, but again, like I said, I'm going to definitely write a film about the city of Holland. Even, not even just the city of Holland, like the whole region, the whole Holland, uh, greater Holland area um, of how different it's been over the years from the 60s to 70s to 80s 90s 2000s um and how much has changed over the years um because it came it it, it, it was a point where because i remember being in middle school and it being a lot of a lot of hispanics um and everybody got along everybody was cool with each other at least in our time frame uh, but I I don't think I ever had an issue with really anybody, you know, growing up. I mean, of course, everybody had their, you know, arguments and little skirmishes and stuff like that. But it wasn't like we hated each other. I mean, I didn't. I don't hate anybody. So it's like. Um, I had a guy when I worked at Myers, I had a fellow bagger who told me he hated me. <laughs> Well, whatever. <laughs> he hates you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Who hates? How do you hate somebody? I don't understand that. I don't either. I mean, I can understand if they like did something bad to you or you know, uh, we or went to jail for something they did. We didn't but, talk outside of Myers, outside of work. He just told me one day, you know, I hate you. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever. <laughs> That's weird. You know what? I'm going to go to work and no, I can't. I like everybody at work. Anyway. All right, well, I'm going to log off here. I want to appreciate you for joining tonight. We will be back Monday night. That's right, I just it's already Friday. Yeah, yeah, damn, it's already Friday. Holy crap. Oh, uh, Labor Day. Don't forget about that on Monday. Uh, well, we'll be on for Labor Day. Yeah, of course. It's a holiday. It's, why wouldn't we? But uh, we want to appreciate you for joining. We, we love all of you. And uh, look forward also to our bingo night coming soon. We will have that game going once we make sure it's legit. Um, and then we'll go from there. We'll we'll advertise it um, at least a week before we get it started so we know who wants to join. Awesome. Um, it'll be $5 a card. It'll be an online thing. We'll, it will generate a link that we would personally send to you. And you click on the link and then it opens up the game and you join the game. That's join the good. game. The game, not the gang. Um, but anyway. All right. Well, everybody have a good night, and we'll talk to you on Monday night. Peace. Love you. Peace out. Say it again. You were not camera. Love you. Peace out. Peace Excellent. Out. Oh, somebody said something. What up, Brandon? We see that you made it home. All right. Everybody have a good night. We'll talk to you on Monday night. Peace.